from what I've heard. Yeah, I mean, Bruno, I guess that makes sense. I mean, if they're if they're calling themselves environmentalists, then they, from your channel. they're going to be leftists on pretty every issue, but pretty much every issue. And I mean, honestly, honestly, putting an ankle bracelets on User people that are denied asylum is a leftist sort of progressive User policy idea. Channel. Conservatives would never propose that. People, people often don't understand that about the difference between conservatism and leftism. Here we go, boys. Match is starting. You say 75% of people who play video games don't know anything about politics or are liberal? I mean, I would have said that probably before I started streaming, and then I started streaming, and, like, everybody that comes in and watches my stream is conservative. But, no, like, the idea about putting ankle bracelets on people that are denied refugee or asylum, that's a liberal, progressive, leftist policy. It, one of the main reasons is is because one of the underlying assumptions in that policy is a belief in a very strong, iron-fisted, centralized government that solves all the problems. Whereas conservatives don't believe in that, and as, as a result, that forms their policy. Oh, so annoying. Be careful. Swedish Environmentalist Party switches economic side depending on the tides, okay. You would think, though, by, I mean, if they're environmentalists, you would think they hate the economy anyways because a growing economy means more pollution in their minds. Not that that's necessarily true, but in their minds, that's what that's what it believes. So User I, would think, entered your channel. I would think they would be hardcore anti-economy no matter what like side the election's on. So that's some question, why do some people exist? That's the wrong question to be asking. <clears throat> yeah, man, I think you might have like the, the the best intentions and good intentions, but I think we've I've got a lot to teach you in terms of um, how to justify and how to discuss these issues without coming off as a radical nut job. I will object to that statement. Leftism is not the belief in a strong government. That's more of an American myth. The majority of all leftist ideologies have the end goal of not having a state at all. I hate those weird punk weirdos in France. Wow, yeah, man. Um, <clears throat> interesting point, Teddy. Interesting point. User left your channel. I don't... I don't I think maybe like, I mean, our arguably far right thought also believes in having no government, like a far right libertarian type of idea. That I mean, that you, this is where sort of just talking left and right doesn't fully, um, you know, define it. Some people have talked about defining politics on a four axis thing, where it's like you have an X and a Y axis. I don't necessarily think that that describes it easier because I do kind of think there are. There are two. There are two philosophies, main philosophies. I think. Nice little four wheeler here. That guy is going for two. Frick. Psyched him out. Psyched him out. <laughs> Come at me now, bro. I'm looting like the worst frickin' buildings.
Oh, this is not a good start. This is not a good spawn. True, true, but there's not a good way, no matter what I say, it could be perceived different because I'm typing and not speaking. Yeah, that's true too. It's hard to differentiate the type. The social economic system is in the end designed to take power away from the state and give it to the workers. State controls more commonly proposed among centrists who want to mix socialist and capitalist ideas. Yeah, Teddy, actually, I mean, th these are all good points. And uh, honestly, like, I think that in, th in theory, what you're talking about works, but show me, show me one leftist that ever reduced the power of the government, even the communist paradise of the Soviet Union uh, had an incredibly strong centralized government. I mean, y the theory behind how, the theory behind communism and having the th your idea about having the workers control that that means the workers control at the end of a gun by the power of a gun. And who wields that gun? The government. They, that just means the workers control the government. That is not a principled constitutional belief or argument at all. And that's what I'm talking about. Like an actual like principled argument that you can actually work in practice through something such as the U.S. Constitution. I mean, that's what I'm talking about. Not sort of this theoretical, oh yeah, no, in theory, communism actually is government's controlled by the workers so it's actually government control not government control that's you've got to be engaging in some twisted sort of double think type orwellian thought to to really like get there dude i'm not playing battlegrounds yeah man i played it game is garbage compared to armament three i'm sure there's marxism but they want a temporary period of state control in order to achieve socialism okay that's what they want it never that's not how it works though they also think that that system of government works well with human nature when it doesn't. It's like, I mean, okay, so what they want, that's great, but what do they actually do? And <clears throat> it's temporary, temporary state control until they pass it off to the, to, you know, what? And then, you, so what's this? Okay, so once you achieve socialism, how do you not have a strong centralized iron fisted government? Explain that to me, Teddy. If this is a, if there's a temporary period of state control until you achieve socialism, okay, once you achieve socialism, then who controls besides an iron-fisted centralized government? Riddle me, riddle me that. Ugh, I'm so screwed. Kind of just want to keep going this way, even though, I don't know. Catalonia, Rojava. Wait, what are those? What are you? Why are you naming those places? Dude, I just told you because Arma Three is way better. Wait, Bruno, you're out. I was trying to figure out why did you say Catalonia and Rojava. I'm glad Teddy. We agree that socialism, Marxism, doesn't work. We agree on that. <clears throat> okay, there's the circle. Okay, kid, player unknown in Armor 3 is a comparison of Minecraft and Roblox, basically same shit. Wait, I don't know what Roblox is. Is that the same as, is that the same thing as Minecraft pretty much? No, dude, Battlegrounds and Armor 3 are totally different. Like, Armor 3 is actually a simulation, whereas Battlegrounds is an arcade game. They're totally different. In Marxist thought, upon achieving socialism, the conditions have been met for the workers to control their own lives and their own economic means. By that point, the government serves no purpose. People have replaced it. Huh. Okay. Yeah, that User is... User entered your channel. 
ridiculous. I, I think, I mean, I think you're right that that's User what they left say. Your channel. It's absurd, though. I thought I needed to User leave. User joined your channel. Wait, why did you need to leave, Bruno? Oh, okay. Two Marxist societies that reduce government. What? Okay, I've never heard of that about Catalonia. Shifted the mod rule in Catalonia. We're still waiting to see how it works in Rojava. Huh, no, I, I honestly, I haven't. I'd have to read up. I, I honestly didn't know that, but I'm sure, I'm sure once I figure it out, I can, or once I learn about it, I can figure out how, you know, it's like basically going to go the same way as pretty much everybody else that's ever tried it throughout the history of humanity. Holy cow! You guys are chatting up a storm. The state is directly overthrown and ruined through revolution in state socialism without the need of government. Yeah, that's great. Sounds great like a theory. Oh, yeah, man. 11 second video. I missed that lecture. Such a punk. Wait, what are you talking about, man? Lecture, this is Roblox. Catalonia was anarchist. Rojava follows an offshoot of anarchism. Aren't those, isn't Catalonia in Spain? Isn't that run by Spain? And where's Rojava? All right, yeah, man. I'll check. I'll check it out once I get to a place where I'm hunkered down. I can't believe I've actually got a gun. I've got 30 bullets to my name. For the whole match. Hopefully I can kill somebody and I'll let them do all the looting for me. That'd be ideal. <clears throat> it would be nice to have an actual Marxist in here. User entered your channel. Catalonia was during the Spanish Civil War part of Republican Spain. Oh, that's when they were Marxist? I mean, what... Uh, I guess what's the... How did they how did they have a Marxist how did Catalonia have a Marxist society that reduced government power? Like explain how that ha how that worked. Okay, and what year was Rojava sort of this Marxist paradise, I guess? Oh, okay. Okay. So, so there was anarchy in Catalonia. That I don't think that proves that sort of leftist can leftist ideology works with little government. I don't think that proves that at all. User disconnected from your channel. Okay, Teddy. Man, I feel uninformed that I, you guys both know about Rojava more than I do. Or, I definitely have actually heard of it. <laughs> With all those political crazy terms. <laughs> yeah, man. Anarchism is leftist. Uh, yeah. I guess. I mean... Anarchy... I th but again, like anarchy is the same thing as hardcore libertarianism to some extent. I mean, to the if you want to just sort of think about these in theoretical terms as we are, then you know. So it's like, okay, what is an what, the only what is the, the anarchy has what one belief? No government. I mean, is that their only belief? Like, is that I didn't even think really anarchy sort of existed as a coherent political ideology. Sure, I'm sure people claim it does, but. Alright, here, let me, let me check this video from Yeah, man. Hey guys, here we go, Roblox Lopo. What on earth? Dude. <laughs> Damn, Teddy. Shit, okay. Good to know.
there you go. Jeez, I'm so glad I watched that. Yeah, man. I'm so glad I watched it. Anarchism is the idea of challenging hierarchies. Is it? Let's see. What what does Google say? Anar anarchism. Belief in the abolition of all government organization of society on a voluntary cooperative basis without recourse to force or compulsion. Yeah, that's what I thought. That's what I thought of it. Why El Camino? Why? User entered your channel. These walk, walk User walls left your are, channel. are weak. Wow, look at that. Can I make a video that explains anarchism in 30 seconds? Sure, Teddy. Actually, are you a Jacob Satorius fan? No. I barely know who that is. Is that a YouTuber? I think I might have seen one of his videos on YouTube. That's about it. And no, I'm not a fan. User Ooh, left. No, your don't don't DM it to me. DM it to Yeah Man, and Yeah Man can post it, or Yeah Man can permit you. It's a pain in the butt when people DM me because it like pops up in my Twitch dashboard. Blocks my view. Who's like a kid? Oh, Jacob, Jacob Satorius. It's cringe. <clears throat> Permit don't work. <laughs> Are you sure? <laughs> I think it just doesn't work fast User enough. left your channel. Because it only works for 30 seconds and nobody ever posts the, th the link within 30 seconds. I should turn the permit up to like five minutes. Maybe I could do that. Play is now restricted. What's up? Dude, there's no way somebody could see me, I don't think, in here. I'm totally bush wookied out. User entered your channel. Dude, I don't understand User it. User left your channel. There you go. <clears throat> All right. or others. So if someone wants to be your boss or your president or your king, they must prove that claim. They must prove it to your satisfaction and in fact to everyone's satisfaction. If they cannot, then their authority is illegitimate and should be dismantled. How? By direct action and direct democracy and if necessary, revolution. Anarchism is the black shadow of the people against the brilliance of power. Okay. Well, if that's, if that's all anarchy is, then that's pretty pathetic because literally the founding fathers of the United States questioned the legitimacy User of government and channel. made the king prove his uh, claim to authority and User specifically said we're going to have a revolution and institute a constitutional republic that is specifically 
given its authority by the consent of the governed. So, I mean, if that's all anarchy is, then every, I'm an anarchist because I, I believe that the government should have to prove its claim to authority too. So, I mean, so what, am I, am I an anarchist just because I believe in, you know, the U.S. Constitution? I mean, that's basically what it comes down to. I mean, that would make, that would make all our founding fathers anarchists. That would make everybody an anarchist. Like, <laughs> Luckily, I'm such a peaceful and understanding guy lecture. <laughs> El Camino. I don't want to look up something. I have no idea what it is. Yet the founding fathers then found that a government above people who did not agree to them governing them. No, I mean, they found that they found that a government, of course, the government's above the people like there is no you can't have a government that's not quote unquote above the people or in control of the people, although the U.S. Constitution specifically restricts the power of the government, which no other founding uh, document ever had and loads and loads of other firsts that basically, you know, show that um, the. Uh, government actually is legitimate it does have the consent of the people and they're specific i mean obviously it has yet to be seen if it is successful i think you know you have there's a strong argument that it hasn't been successful because we now have a incredibly powerful centralized iron-fisted government as a federal government so there's a good argument to say that it doesn't work but i mean on the other hand you can only make the constitution so clear and if the people don't want to follow it there's nothing you can really write down in a constitution so there's still an argument that it's a perfect government governing document he's a youtuber gotta pee all right whoa whoa, whoa. user entered your channel User left your channel. That was crazy. I just heard shots. Mr. Audio with the auto host. And as they did not prove their claim to everyone's satisfaction, according to anarchists, thought the American state shouldn't exist. Wait, so they have to. You're never. That, that, they never. That's not what that guy User just said. Your channel. You have to prove User their claim to. Ev every single person has to be satisfied? I mean, okay, so in that case, then you're never going to have. Then you're never going to have, you know a satisfactory situation because there's no situation where like everyone is going to be satisfied. I mean, that never happens. That literally never ever happens. Updated map. Let's see where we're at. I think what re what it really is, Teddy, is that you have to prove it to any given anarchist's satisfaction, and then what that standard for satisfaction is is up just whatever that individual likes and doesn't like. That's why it's not a principled position at all. What? So, okay, so... So they're basically just oh they haven't they, the government hasn't proven its claim to my satisfaction therefore let's let's have a fucking revolution and kill people, I mean that's what the that's what the policy is basically like oh I don't like the government so let's have a revolution and overthrow it I mean that's absurd.
is a decentralized one that everybody participates in. Okay, again, that could easily describe the United States system because it's a it's decentralized because we have a federalist system where you have states that have as much power as possible to the states as that's how it's originally intended. And that everyone participates in, everyone participates in both the state governments and the federal governments because everybody can vote. So boom, there you go. Again, that just, like honestly, the founding fathers of the US <clears throat> believed in decentralized government, decentralized control as well. That's why you cre they created states and did not create a single centralized iron-fisted federal government. It's basically, I don't want someone to govern me, I want to govern myself. U.S. government is not centralized. I, I didn't say the U.S. central government is centralized. Or I might have said like it is now because in practical practicality it is. Um, because the U.S. federal government has basically preempted state laws in a multitude of areas to where the states still control some things, but not nearly as much as the states used to control. And the federal government has its fingers in everything now, where it, is it used to not. Decentralized. Okay, yeah. It's not decentralized. Well, what do you mean? Like, it's not designed to be decentralized? I only had 30 bullets! I only had 30 bullets and I wasted them!